back here in Metro Manila, residents in Marikina are also preparing for possible evacuation. Bim Santos has the report. The sky was clear and Typhoon Ompong was still nowhere in sight. But LV Mosa of Barangay Tumana in Marikina can help but cry out of fear. Her traumatic experience during last month's flash flood brought by monsoon rains is still fresh in her memory. Yung huli ngayong dumating na baha, nandiyan na po yung tubig. Hindi ko na po alam kasi ako lang mag-isa eh. Mister ko na sa trabaho. Yung apo ko, tinawid ko sa kabilang bahay. To prepare for Typhoon Ompong, she has packed up a bunch of clothes, prepared food such as rice, fried fish, boiled egg, and instant noodles. As for their other clothes, Elvis says they will just leave it on the roof, sealed inside a box and covered with a tarp. Her neighbors are also busy packing up clothes in case of an evacuation. Siyempre, natatakot po kami. Kasi siyempre, uh, baka mamaya, katulad na naman ang naunang nangyari nung undoy, ang dami rin na perwisyo. Yun. Kaya ngayon, naghahanda, talagang handa na kami pagkaganyan. The owner of what is one of the tallest houses in the community has also begun clearing his fourth floor, which he says usually serves as a makeshift evacuation center for his family and other neighbors. Ay, di dikit dikit kami rito. May... Pati mga kapitbahay niyo pa iba? Oo, oh, ibang kapitbahay. Siyempre, alam nga namang itabi mo yung kapitbahay. The local government of Marikina has also started preparations. Right now, all our water assets are being mobilized and being prepositioned to identified communities. Animals will also be taken care of during evacuation. And part ng protocol na yon is to provide the shelter for animals. Supposedly, we have an animal shelter na located dito sa sa aming city pound office. But um, sa ganitong sitwasyon, yung aming animal shelter um, nililipat namin dito sa mga evacuation camp. The local government has also started trimming three branches. In Roas District, Quezon City, which usually serves as a catch basin, boats and life vests have been prepared. Residents have also been advised to prepare for possible evacuation. The Philippine Red Cross meanwhile advised the preparation of a go-bag, which contains a first aid kit, a hygiene kit, important documents, and food and water. Para po tayo ay hindi magpapanik at hindi tayo madidisgrasya, dapat po talagang nakikinig tayo sa anunsyo ng ating pamahalaan at nakikisa po tayo sa mga programa ng ating community. Bim Santos, we are One News.